and welcome to FEM Expert. Today we will present you a basic tutorial with a general description of the ANSYS environment. In order to open ANSYS you have to go to your star menu and click on to your mechanical APDL product launcher shortcut. By doing so you will open the APDL product launcher window. In this window you have a series of options to control ANSYS Today we will not describe most of them since we have a previous tutorial in which we do, we do so. For right now we're just going to show you how to change your license. To do this by simply clicking on the license region and selecting the type of license that you want to use on your asset simulation. And here we have the working directory where you can type the directory in which you want to work or you can simply browse it by clicking on the browse button and selecting a previously existing folder in your computer. Under the job name you can select any job name that you want or you can save or you can browse if you have another job name previously saved. In this situation we're gonna just name our job name NCIS characteristics. Once you have the working directory, the job name, and the license selected, so in order to open ANSYS, you just go and click on to the ROM button. Once you have pushed the ROM button, the ANSYS environment will open. As you will see, ANSYS has a series of menus and different regions. Today we will briefly describe the most important ones. At the top you can see there's 10 drop down menus. You can just open them by simply clicking on them. We will describe the first five since they're the most uh, basic menus and the, the later ones will be described in further tutorials. Under the file menu you have options to change the job name, change the title, resume your, your job name, save your job name. Also you have the option to read an input form from which allows you to read pre-programmed routines under the ANSYS APDL programming language. This allows you to use, create, simulate or create processes, automatic processes of modeling, so, so solving, post-processing or whatever pre-programmed process, automatic process you have. Also here you have options to import 3D models from different programs in different formats or to export 3D models into a specific file format to use it in 3D programs. Under the select menu you, we can select a, different, a series of entities or components. Here for example by selecting the select entities menus we can select nodes, elements, volumes, lines, areas and key points. This menu has a series of options and today we're not going to describe it since the best way to learn about all of these options is actually use them while you're performing a, a, a simulation. For right now we're just gonna go into the cancel button. I'm gonna show you under the list menu. Here you can list a series of options and entities. For example you can list the coordinates of a key point, the coordinates and attributes of a key point, the lines, the properties of the lines, the areas, volumes, of elements, you can list only some picked entities, some properties of your models, the loads that have been applied. In the case that you have your model simulated, you can list the results and other options. Listing stuff in ANSYS is very important, especially when you are working in a model that you have not been working on since the beginning. On the right we have the plot menu. Here you can replot any you can replot the monitor, what's being seen in the monitor, and then you can plot the entities that before you were able to list. For example, lines, volumes, areas, you can plot some specified entities, nodes, elements, and so on. On the right we have the plot control menu. As its name it says its name says it. 
it allows you to control some of the options of plotting. For example, in that sense, when you have a more complex model, it's very important or very useful to be able to plot the lines with different colors or to assign each color to a type of material or a type of element and so on. You will see all of these options while we use them in further tutorials. They can be extremely useful. The other five menus, they have more complex options and there's no sense into describing it right now. We will do so in other tutorials. Underneath these menus, we have a series of icons that represent shortcuts to to the options that are in the menus. You can see what each one of these icons is by just simply going over with the, the pointer and as it will tell you what each one of these options are. You also have uh, some shortcuts here. We have to save, resume, quit and some graphic options. These are another shortcuts that you can also use in ANSYS. On the right of this shortcut we have, and on this bar, we have the ANSYS common prompt bar. Here you can type any type of command. These are very useful. This is this menu is very useful, especially when you are a more advanced or medium or high level user. Since it allows you to save a lot of time and work in a more professional way with ANSYS. Now we'll go here on the left and I'll describe the ANSYS main menu. As in most of the things in ANSYS, <coughs> this menu is very extensive. Here you have nine menus and each one of these there are other menus and multiple options. The most important or the most basic in order to perform a simulations are the preprocessor, the solution and the general post-processing menu. Under the preprocessor menu, we have we can select the element type of our simulation. We can establish some real constants. We can select the model properties or the sections that we're going to use. Also, we can we have modeling options such as creating stuff or operating, for example, extruding something or boolean operations like intersect, add, subtract. We can do operations like copying, reflecting geometries and stuff. Once you have your model, what you normally want to do is go to create a mesh of that model. You can do that in the mesh menu or with different options or simply by using the mesh tool, which represents a, a tool that allows you to select the different different options and allow you to select the way you're going to create a meshing for your different entities. And normally after you have a, your model, you have your meshing of your model. You can go, you can go to the solution menu, select the type of analysis, analysis that you're going to perform. Here you have, for example, static model, harmonic, transient and others. You, have, you can control the solution the, the con control the solution options define the loads that you're going to apply in your model the some of the low stop options and after you have all this set up you're going to go to solve and solve your current ls your current model after you obtain the solution you were able to solve this the problem you are analyzing what you want to do is go to the general post processing menu where you can read the results, plot the results that you obtain it, list the results, even save them in different formats and so on. As I said before, in order to better understand ANSYS, the best way to understand ANSYS is to do it by actually using it. So for right now, I'm, I'm gonna finish this tutorial. I'm gonna go and click on exit and close the ANSYS instance. I'm also gonna close the APDL product launcher. And now that you have you see you have a general description of ANSYS, you will be able to start doing models and creating your own solutions. We would like to thank you for your attention and we hope you enjoyed this presentation. For more tutorials please visit our community and follow us on the social networks.